The forest below is what birds see. What human has ever had a view like theirs? Not from an airplane, so high above it all that the forest may as well be a cloth bumpily laid out on some distant table. Not from on high, but from just above. What would treetop after treetop look like if they were near enough underfoot so that you could imagine yourself walking on them, as if on a fantastically complex, shimmering and shivering hill of living green? What indeed? Jerry Bowen is about to show us. Deep in this ancient forest, most everything lives in harmony. The squirrels and chickadees, the beetles and salamanders, even the giant crane. This crane. That was just a dream come true. It was fabulous. A construction crane in the forest was a dream come true for Nalini Nadkarni. Our eye level right now is about 200 feet above the forest floor. So we're at the very top of one of the tallest trees in this old growth forest. Uh, the top of a teacher and scientist tree. determined to learn everything she could about how a forest works from top to bottom. Or by looking at a raindrop fall down and understanding where that raindrop is bonking off of branches and leaves and so forth. I can understand what's going on with rain in a forest much better than I can if I just put out a collector on the forest floor. And when you first started doing your research from the canopy, yeah. did you have to readjust your thinking? Yes! That's exactly right! Yes, yes, yes. Because instead of seeing the forest as these like this family of trunks, it became three-dimensional. See, this is an infestation of tiger moths. And these are the larvae, the caterpillars. You can see how, what the, the damage they've done to the top here. Now, this is just absolutely unique, the fact that we are touching, we are at the spot where the damage is being done. Because you can imagine that if you're on the forest floor, you would not even know that these guys existed. Now, there are 700 scientists the world over exploring this new frontier of canopy science. And along the way, the crane may help them and the rest of us more earthbound folks answer some of the really hard questions about ancient forests, questions about preservation, about the value of these old trees to the rest of the environment.